Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Wall. I'm curator of entomology at the San Diego Natural History Museum. Today I'm out in the field and uh, doing some general hiking for, for a different project, but uh, ran across uh, this bush that's covered with vines. I think this is a type of clematis vine and uh, there's bees all over it. These are all European honeybees, so these are non-native bees that are all over it. Uh, but I just want to show you guys how I collect when I'm out um, doing, doing research on, on native bees, uh, or in this case, European honeybees. And got my little handy dandy net, very carefully sweep up. I get a little bee inside of there and try my best not to get stung because no matter how tough you are, getting stung hurts. And so you can see my little European honeybee in here. So European honeybees, as the name suggests, and this is what all honeybees are here in Southern California, is not native to our region. Uh, and we have, I think the number is up to about 685 different bee species that are known from San Diego. So we got a lot of bee diversity in the county. This is just one of them. Of course, it's the ones that people are most familiar with. And they do lots of good stuff like pollinating all these plants. The honeybees do, but all those native bees do a good job pollinating plants as well. And so I'm not collecting this for the collection today, but we do have a collection at the Nat. And uh, we have over a million specimens in that collection, uh, including a whole lot of bee uh, species. And, we send those specimens out to researchers around the world for them to use in the research that they do. Uh, local um, environmental biologists use our collection to study uh, endangered and threatened species of insects. And so it's got a wide variety of uses. And of course, when you come down to the Natural History Museum, you can see some of those specimens on display. So that's how I catch bees when I'm out catching bees. And thanks for tuning in.